Okay, I have a um, platter mounted on the index jig. Uh, this is about 12 inches across. I'll be using the outside set of division holes, which is uh, 288 divisions. You can see, hopefully, that I have some marked in red, some marked in green. The ones that are marked in red give me 32 divisions and the ones marked in green give me 96 divisions. And I'll explain a little later what that means, but right now this plate has been divided by 32 divisions. And the reason, and I, and I consider this my base grid. I don't go any farther than that because I want to be able to start my pattern down here and uh, before I include more burn lines or more divisions. And so what I do is I take my iPad and I take a picture of that. And I'll show you that. So I take a picture of that on my iPad and that's what I've got right there. And now I can use my iPad to start designing my pattern. And so for this particular one, my beginning pattern is going to be as simple as that right there. So what I'll do next is I'll come in here and I'll put a little black dot under under each one of those on each one of those spots that I want to paint paint black. And then from there I will get a little more intricate with my pattern and go to something like this. Now you can see I've drawn in some more black lines in there. Let's zoom that in. These black lines, you can see those lines right there are lines that were already there, that are already burned in place. Try and get this pencil out. And then the lines that are right here or lines that I've drawn in. And so what that's doing is it's telling me where I want to burn my next lines. So I'll go back to this pattern right here and mark that on the platter and then I'll know then I'll burn my next set of division lines which will be these. And then as you can see I've gone a little farther than that with my pattern and I've come out to here so there's my 32 division lines there's my 96 division lines and here's my 288 division lines and this has all been drawn on this photograph using this program and this eye pencil and then what I can do is I can send that to my printer and so I've got that to go by and I've got that to go by for the next one and then there's my completed pattern and so that's where that design software is just really handy so I'm gonna go through now I'll pause this video and I'm gonna go through and mark those spots so you can see what I'm doing there So there now is the pattern, the first part of the pattern, colored in. I didn't show you, show me doing that because all you'd see was the back of my head. But, uh, and I have darkened these in a little more than I normally would, just so it shows up better on the video. Um, just looking at it, it looks like I missed one or two. I missed those two right there, so I need to go back and do those. But what this does then is uh, it kind of preserves the area that stays with the 32 divisions, and now I'm ready to do my 96 divisions, which will be two lines in between each one of these spaces. And then I'll be able to continue my pattern. But if you'll notice on here, 
um, make sure that's in focus. There we go, maybe that's better. Um, that I have some areas that are still 32 division so that I can get that contrast in there. And so I'll have to be careful and not burn those 96 division lines through those areas. And so when I get back to, to that point, I will come back here and show you that again and see what it looks like. Okay, let's uh, revisit this platter. As you can see, the pattern has advanced quite a bit from what we looked at last time. Um, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. And so what I've got there is a recap. I've started inside here with 32 divisions. And then I went to I kept some space there with 32. And then I went to 96 divisions. And then out here, I'm at 288 divisions. Now these spots right here that are darker, these here, I guess, these three, those are actually 576 divisions. Now I, I got that, my wheel, is just 288 divisions. Let me move this over a little so you can see. So this outside row of holes is 288 divisions. Uh, in order to double that, to get those, uh, the 576, I loosen this nut down here. I loosen this down here and then I rotate the wheel. It's called phasing in Row's engine work so that when I locate in that hole, it ends up uh, exactly dividing one of these sections here. And so then I go around and, and go in every hole to get these more intense burn lines here. And so what that does is if you have a an index wheel or if you're using a piece of marked paper for your indexing. Um, say your uh, wheel or your paper only have a hundred divisions, by phasing it like that, you can double the number of divisions. And you can even go farther than that. It gets a little more complicated if you go past just doubling it, but that's how um, you can intensify the pattern on a wheel that doesn't have as many divisions. And so this is to the point now where it's ready for me to take out of the chuck and start doing the actual painting in of the pattern. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what that looks like. I've messed around a little bit and considered some color. Don't know if I'll do that or not. I'm Most of the pieces that I do are usually just black and then the natural color of the wood and the scorching from the wood burning is uh, typically my favorite way to do it. But uh, so this will be an interesting pattern. So here's the piece with um, the rest of the division lines burned on it. Plus you can see I've added some of the pattern. Now this is the pattern that I'm going to use on this piece. These areas right here are what's going to receive an extra burn line. This area, through here, all of those areas that you can see will get an extra burn line. So my goal was was to just put enough dots on that uh, 
box to identify the areas that I want to do those extra burn lines in. Now you can see an area like this that's still pretty wide open. That is this area in the pattern. And you can see I'm not going to do any extra burn lines in there, so I've left that open. I don't like to put any more ink on here than I have to. And so I think that what I have on there now has given me the borders I need to uh, add the extra burn lines. Now, the lines that are on here are 90 divisions. There's 90 of them around the circumference. On my index wheel, I'm on the uh, line that has 180 divisions. So to fill in these areas with extra burn lines, I just simply put my pin in uh, unused holes and basically divide those squares in half. And so that's what I'll do now. Okay, now I've transferred my pattern onto the box. First using just dots. And then I took a pen that had a tip that wasn't very good anymore and used it to mark the top side of the beads, all of the beads, in the colors that will be on there. And then I take a uh, a tip, a pen that has a really good tip so that I can paint the top half of the bead and the bottom half of the bead and not worry so much about getting ink on the bead that's not supposed to be painted. And so what that looks like when I'm done doing that is more like this. As you can see the pattern has really popped out and can see all the colors on there. Um, the pen, the pens that I use are these uh, Faber Castell, and I really like these pens. They're India ink. It's a Pitt Artist pen, and I use the brush tip. I've tried some of the others that have a protected tip on them and I don't I can't seem to get as deep in between the beads as I'd like to with those this tip is not protected but it comes to a fine enough point that if I'm careful I can get in there and, and do the kind of job I want to do the other thing that's nice about these is when that tip becomes frayed and and not really usable for a really fine work I can pull it out and turn it around and push it back in and I've got a brand new fresh tip on the other end. I usually just put a little bit of tape on the pen after I've done that so that I know that I've already rotated the tip once and not do it again. Uh, I buy these online at uh, Blick Art Supply. They're, you can get them at the local hobby stores but they're about a dollar a piece more. So that's the pen I use. This piece will have an inset on the top. I haven't decided what yet. This top ring and the bottom ring will be painted black. And uh, so let's go ahead and get this finished and then show you what it looks like when the whole thing is finished. <laughs> 